Floyd Mayweather Jr. catching strays once again, getting blamed for big fights not happening. Once again, coming from the same accuser, Bill Haney. But this particular accusation comes at a very funny time as he says it is Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellerby that are stopping the fight between Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney. Let's talk about that in this video. The boy that cried wolf. I am sure you guys have heard that story before <laughs> where there is a kid that sits outside whose job is it, it is to keep lookout for a small village for wolves coming uh, to steal their livestock. And he keeps claiming and plays a joke and says, likes, he's a funny dude. So he says, wolf, wolf, and gets everybody to leave their houses to come and protect against the wolves. He fakes it. And he fakes it so many times that eventually people start looking at him when he says it and don't come out of their house. And one time, he there's actual wolves there and he cries, wolf, wolf, and nobody comes out because he said it so many times that nobody believes him and the boy gets eaten by the wolves. That is where we are with these accusations around Gervonta Davis ducking Devin Haney for this reason or that reason. Now, this particular one, or really people ducking Devin Haney just in general, because man, if you have not paid attention, they scream it every day somebody else is ducking Devin Haney. The boy that cried duck. In this instance, again, Bill Haney is claiming that Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Leonard Ellerby are blocking the fight between Gervonta Davis and um, Devin Haney. Big problem. Now, before I get into the details, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really does make a gigantic difference to the channel. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys, but let's get into it. All right. So Leonard Ellerby says, man, they not trying to talk about uh, Errol's uh, Gervonta Davis fight with Devin Haney. Gervonta Davis is out here uh, making big fights and he's not looking to take a pay cut against Devin Haney and Devin Haney, even though he's a very good fighter, is not the big draw, is not the big name that you guys is not that there's not money in the fight like you guys think that there is. And Leonard Ellerby has been very honest about it, very straightforward about it. Does not miss does not mince words about it. Floyd Mayweather himself said several years ago, Gervonta uh, Davis and Devin Haney are not fighting. They're different weight classes. Now, remember, those are the two things that have been said. Right. One is Leonard Ellerby saying there. Uh, this fight is not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. Your tank is not scared of these people. It's not that he doesn't want to fight them, but those guys are doing exactly what they said they're going to do, which is make big fights. And if Devin Haney is a big fight that fans want to see and fans are going to pay for, and then they would do that fight. Floyd Mayweather Jr. said they're not going to fight because they're in two different weight classes. Now, while Bill Haney is basically is saying it's their fault that the fight's not happening. Really? Is it their fault that the fight's not happening or is it your fault that what they said is true? Number one, for me, the most important thing is Devin Haney is not a lightweight. And it still perplexes me how people continually talk about a guy that oh, two guys that are in that are, first of all, radically different sized people in the weight classes that they fight. Devin Haney is openly talking about moving to 147 pounds. 
openly talking to 147, moving to 147 pounds. If you have looked at Devin Haney at all in the last several weeks, you will notice how big he's gotten since he left the 135 pounds division and moved to 140 pounds. Devin Haney is probably the biggest 140 pounder on the planet. He was definitely the biggest 135 pound fighter. One of them. He is, and I'm not, when I'm saying on the planet, I'm exaggerating a little bit because I don't know who all the 140 pounders are on the planet. However, of the top 140 pounders and top 135 pounders, the only 135 pounder that I could think that maybe, maybe was as big as Devin Haney was uh, Nakatani. And because Nakatani was like five foot 11, that may have been the, like, I think that's the only one that I think was, that could have been as big at, or bigger than Devin Haney at 104, but none of the champions, not Tiafimo Lopez, not Gervonta Davis, not, not um, Shakur Stevenson, not, definitely not Vasily Lomachenko, not, none of those guys are as big as he is. And then at 140, you look at the champ. Not Tiafimo Lopez is not as big as Devin Haney. Roly Romero is not as big as Devin Haney. Sabril Matias is not as big as Devin Haney. Devin Haney's oh, Devin Haney is because he's so disciplined. And I gotta get my take my hat off to that guy because he's so def- disciplined. He can get down in weight where a lot of those guys cannot do that or not willing to do that, and they're actually at a weight class above that. Now, as far as the second explanation that the fight is really not what you think it is and Gervonta Davis is not taking a pay cut again, that's on Devin Haney. And why is that on Devin Haney? It's on Devin Haney and it's on Bill Haney because they signed deals with networks that Devin Gervonta Davis is not on, which means in order for these guys to fight. And since Devin Haney is getting big guarantees, get Devin Haney is going to want a big guarantee against Gervonta. And that is not going to work because Devin is not the draw that people think he is, or at least they say he is, and they act like they, like he is. So Dev, Gervonta, in, in, in reality, would have to take a pay cut in order to accommodate Devin Haney in a fight with him, which is going to be a pay-per-view fight, which where Gervonta Davis is driving the revenue. So even though, yes, there's a great reason for the fight to take place, but Gervonta Davis is not obligated in any way, shape, form or fashion to move up, move up and wait, nor to give up money for the benefit of fighting Devin Haney. Now, if Devin Haney wants to, do the things Devin Haney needs to do to put himself in a position to get rid of those problems, then I would say that's a different scenario. Then I would say, okay, that is Gervonta and that's Gervonta um, Davis that is do- that is putting the roadblocks in the way to the f- in the way of the fight. Now, for the people that are going to leave these stupid comments about why has if Gervonta is the A side, then why doesn't Gervonta send the contract? Gervonta is the A side. He can make anything happen. Gervonta is the A side. That means he got his, you know, the WBA shipped him his genie bottle and all he's got to do is rub on it three times and make a wish and it'll pop out. No, (laughs) that's not how it works. These guys are in it to make their money and there nobody has to fight outside of their weight class. Devin has got to do what Devin's got to do to get that fight, but he's not going to because Devin is not a 135 pounder. Gervonta is not a 140 pounder. And that is not Floyd's fault. It's not Leonard Ellery's fault. If if I think if uh, Devin Haney was knocking everybody out, he got in the ring, he had knocked out, knocked Regis Progray completely out. If he had been, if he had knocked out George Cambosis, if he had knocked out Vasily Lomachenko, if he was somebody that everybody was like, man, I can't wait to see this next fight because what this guy's doing, how spectacular his knockouts are and, and how fun it is to watch him. We might be telling a different story, 
But that's just not the case. Even this fight with Ryan Garcia, like, I don't know what the pay. I mean, you know, who knows how many tickets have actually been sold? We won't know that until they actually release the gate and all of that. But they those tickets, there's massive amounts of that ticket, those tickets available, even though people were claiming the fight had already sold out a month ago. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. 